So this morning I woke up feeling absolutely wasted. Um, as you guys know, yesterday I had a deadlift session, first one in three months. And uh, part of my worry with coming back to deadlifting was this idea of recovery alongside squatting. Um, so this morning I woke up really, really exhausted, uh, uncharacteristically tired. Even after um, doing heaps of uh, volume on the squat, I don't wake up like this. This is some different type of uh, fatigue. Um, it's like, the, as I lay down in bed last night, is the same position I woke up in this morning. It was like, yeah, just, I feel like I hadn't moved the whole night in bed. That's how exhausted I was. This morning I woke up and I, I'm not sure if you guys uh, have this uh, feelings as well. You wake up and you, you can't even clench your fists. Um, you know, kind of clench your hands from, from, I guess, the the fatigue, the general system fatigue. It's more like nervous fatigue rather than anything. You know, you know, there wasn't any crazy amount of grip work that I did. It was just a deadlift, really. Um, and half of that was with straps. So I woke up really, really tired. So I think it's fair to say, I've had a chat to some of you guys in the comments. I think it's fair to say that I won't be able to do two times a week deadlifting, no way. Uh, not after I've woken up. Uh, like this, uh, I need to ease into it like everything. I've, I've been preaching, you know, some of these same messages. I should probably listen to some of these ideas myself. Um, kind of like when you're starting off squatting every day, you gotta ease into it, man. Like slowly ease into it. Don't underestimate how you feel. Um, you might feel great squatting five days in a week and then like on the seventh, eighth day, it just really hits you like a truck. You don't wanna get that fatigue accumulation. Um, it can creep up on you. So last night, it didn't creep up on me, it hit me. Straight on, uh, so I need to be careful. So I'm gonna decide to, I think it's fair to say, I'm gonna do deadlifting once a week um, and I'm not gonna hit like a one rep max like I did yesterday. Uh, I need to really kind of um, make, make sure that the speed of the bar is up to standard. Cause whenever the bar slows down, you know you're working really, really hard and it's, you're getting closer and closer to your you know, one rep max. If you guys have seen the footage from yesterday, um, that deadlift moved very, very slowly. In fact, I might put it up on the screen here. Um, if you have a look, uh, you know, uh, started pulling it, um, and it was really, really slow, and then I got to about, I don't know, mid-thigh, um, and I kind of went on my tippy toes and re reestablished my balance and pulled it through, but um, that was a really, really slow rep. And so these type of reps uh, mean that you're really, really close to your one rep max, if not that being your one rep max. So. I need to make sure the bar moves quite quick um, to, to avoid, you know, real exertion um, and real kind of high costs of recovery. Um, we're all different. Uh, you know, I might have said it yesterday. Some of you guys really find deadlifting really easily. For some reason, your spines are really conditioned to this type of uh, movement pattern and uh, you can tolerate it. Some, the, same of you, the same guys, though, can find squatting really stressful. So it all depends on who you are. It all depends on your probably sporting history. Um, I've spent a lot, a lot of time squatting, and so my body's probably conditioned to it and um, doesn't think much of it, really. I can squat every day, right? 270 odd days now. So that's where I stand with this right now. I'm gonna do it one day a week. Um, today, I woke up, like I said to you guys, I was really, really tired, and I thought, Jesus, man, what am I gonna do with the squat? Like, how, how am I gonna approach this? So anyway, I'll put the footage on now. Uh, I did uh, 50 reps with 60 kilos, um, and I worked hard today, man. I really did. I was really feeling the pump in the legs. I was really feeling it in the lower back, something which I dread because I don't like feeling that type of fatigue in the lower back. Um, but from the deadlift session yesterday, it only makes sense that my lower back kind of erectors, uh, spinal erectors were going to be sore and tired. It's not that they're sore, but I definitely felt the pump. Uh, sort of like at the 30th rep, I think, of this set, I was really, really, really feeling it. Um, but anyway, stuck with it and finished 50. Um, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Simple as that, I'm gonna leave it at that. I probably have a bit more in me today, but I need to think of uh, that recovery. Um, so today all I've done is some uh, hamstring curls. I'm, I seem to be doing hamstring curls every day now. I just, I can't get them fatigued, really. Um, when you're doing RDLs, like you feel your hamstrings real sore the following day and the day after. But with hamstring curl machine, it's just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Uh, maybe there's lack of stretch, um, uh, sh lack of stretching within the range of motion. Whereas with the deadlift, like you're really going to the, you know, you're redlining that muscle um, length. With this, you're kind of fixed to the machine, I guess, and uh, 
you know, there's a limited range of motion there and that, that's what it is. Um, with this machine really, uh, with hamstring curl machines, all you're really doing is uh, knee flexion. Uh, but with the, with the deadlift, you are, you know, you, there's knee, knee flexion there, I guess. Um, but there's also hip flexion as well. And so you're kind of stretching the muscle on both ends, if, if you want to call it that way. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, deadlifting is a nightmare for me. Um, I, I really enjoyed though. Uh, I had a lot of fun yesterday with pulling. Um, I've been thinking about, I just have to feel my way through really and just kind of easy to it, like I said, but uh, I like frequency, man. I really like frequency with everything I do. Um, and one day a week is not gonna fulfill me because uh, I, I wanna lift more, right? Uh, but it's just my recovery can't take it. So maybe I should just lift up to like 70% um, a few times a week rather than lifting, I don't know, 80, 90% one times a week. Uh, something I have to work out, um, but I hate not doing stuff that I love. You know what I mean? Like, if there's if there's an eagerness there to train, um, you should probably train more, uh, even if you have to kind of grease the groove. You know, move the weight through the range of motion and just grease the groove. I guess. Anyway, these are some of the thoughts I have to kind of figure out and work out. Uh, but I just want to report in that I'm absolutely wasted right now <laughs> after freaking one. Freaking one, uh, one rep at near maximum of the deadlift and I'm freaking wasted the following day. Anyway guys, that's it for me today. I survived, but barely. <laughs> See you next one.